like um, our pal, was it? What? Went real quick in the middle screen on CNN. Our, uh, our pal Bill oh. Donahue. Yeah, what is Bill Donahue talking about? Oh, oh, gu pope? I guarantee you the Pope he's talking about. The Pope. Oh, really? Yeah. Even who, who said that homosexuals he, 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 were pedophiles? Here, here's Did I say that? The suggestion is that all of this was consensual because of the age of he the... He always has a problem. Consensual? Uh, yeah. When people get raped, it's not consensual. Look, I, as far as I'm concerned, the Catholic Church didn't handle this right. I would have put these guys in the slammer a long time ago. Instead, they just think they could reform them. They sent them off to the psychiatrist. That's plain stupidity. No, I'm, uh, no, there's, no, there are very few who can disagree with that. I mean, the way the church handled the situation right. is a large part of the stain on the church right now. But it is the discussion of homosexuality and the blame of them as somehow predatory. That I, is what your, well, pope, your pope is telling you not to say. I'll it's not say about it what again. I think. I'll, this is what your pope is most telling you. Of the, most of the molesting priests were gay, and most gay priests are not molesters. Good. I think people Stop can, there. But I, that's all I've ever said. No, but look, who says that the molesters were gay? I'm telling you, if Who most says if the molesters most, were gay, they weren't girls and they weren't. Who pre says the molesters were gay? Well, if a man has sex with, with a man, what would you call that? <laughs> he could be a deviant pedophile and a sick person. <laughs> Not he if the kid is rapist. 18, 17, 16 years of age. A rapist could be straight or gay. I'll give you that much. Homos but you, you look, see, you're running away. You predatory. Look, you're trying to say that anybody who points out the obvious that the Catholic Church had a homosexual scandal, What's therefore obvious? you're anti-gay. This is absurd. Mr. Donahue, we both know that what is obvious here is that the Pope is asking you not to focus on these things. He you, didn't ask me to shut up the about the truth. You and the Catholic League, you're the same organization that went forward and said, when you're defending the passion, I'm a Mel Gibson fan, right. when you're defending the passion, you say, hey, you know, those secular Jews in Hollywood, they don't like the Catholics, it's a fact. What? Well, well, wait a minute. That, this is you, the kind do, of do thing you wanna, that you shouldn't do you say wanna get into? The, is it the Vietnamese who are making movies in Hollywood? Is it the Puerto Ricans oh, who own Hollywood? Do you understand how that sounds? Do you understand how it 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 sounds? So are, are they are they anti-Semitic? So what? Why would you what? say it? I'm well, saying, do you say it the because message I was of the just wow. insulted on Donahue's some guy on MSNBC yeah. and I just came it right back to him. Listen, am I insulting you? No, no. we're having a discussion. No, right? this is fun. What I'm saying, <laughs> well, for me. And here's why. The Pope's giving you a different message. He's saying. Don't make these statements about the homosexuals. Yeah. Don't make these statements about the Jews. Get back to what yeah. your church is about. Jesus wasn't about what you're doing right now. Uh, uh, Are you going to hear that so, message so, or no? Because it doesn't sound like it. I've heard the message, but it's not the one that you will interpret for me. So you think hmm. that the Pope your wants you to say Jews don't like Catholics. Uh, no, I, and I that didn't homosexuals, say that. No, no. when they have sex no, with people of certain age, must like be Catholics. Catholics. When did I say that Jews don't like Catholics? You were quoted. No, I was, you, I'm talking about... Second, the Jews who, 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 in Hollywood who, are, who, who run the Hollywood studios who make anti-Catholic movies. What, what, what is so absurd about that? <laughs> the I absurdity is, right. is it that you are blaming it's like it on a faith that, and a culture. Well, it's when like, it is a subjective judgment right, about right, a movie. Right. Well, so you're blaming these people. So, 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 so if I mention that the Chinese live in Chinatown, am I considered now a bigot to point out the obvious? No, but <laughs> if a Chinese person makes something you don't like and you then decide to blame them because they're Chinese as opposed to well, what's Well, the made, Catholics seem to get different. blamed for every time we complain about a movie. We're blamed it's the for church this. I get blamed for this. You get blamed for what I get blamed for. Of course. You're a huge you organization. The Catholic League I matters. Get, what, the maybe, Catholic League is relevant. Right or wrong, it is. Maybe I get blamed for what Andrew Cuomo does. Because he's Catholic. <laughs> that would be a good switch for you. Let me tell you. <laughs> I don't think. I think I'd be going south. <laughs> listen, the point is, what, what are you going to do with this message from the Pope? Uh, listen, I, I, I happen to agree. We have different interpretations, obviously. I love the Pope. And I do think that there are single-issue Catholics on the left and the right who need to get out of their little micro turf battles and look at the macro issue. It should be about salvation. I will grant you that, and I am so happy that he has said it. He's also said that there are, he has a problem with the rigorous priest, you know, the right-wing authoritarians. He also said, if people actually read what he said in his interview, he's against those priests who are too lax. He said, and by that he meant those who deny the existence of sin. Yeah, there's a problem on the left with well. that, just as there's a problem on the right. He identifies himself as a sinner first when they ask him about the man, Bergoglio. I know, and everybody thinks this is bre breaking news. Every single probe throughout all of history probe. went to confession. Why did he go to confession? Because he's a sinner. There's no breaking news there. He's, I guess I think that his hope is that the people who call themselves devout Catholics get back to the main mission of the church, which is not division, it is love. 
and his understanding that there's good in all. So you think the nuns on the bus then are bringing uh, everybody together by going out there in favor of Bo Obamacare against what the bishops want? They're the ones who are divisive. The dissidents thinking, ones typically are on the left, but not exclusively. I'm thinking what he wants is for you to spend last, less time bashing nuns and more time bringing people together. I don't bash together. nuns. I'm just simply pointing out that <laughs> some of the sister po polyesters have lost their mission. They should not be vocation. They should not be social workers. They should be nuns tending to the poor. I think the one thing we'll agree on for sure is that we hope that the Pope's message is understood. Yes, I do. Mr. Donahue, <laughs> okay. thank you for taking the opportunity. Thank you so I much. It. Kate, over to you. Wow. The Thanks Pope. so much, Chris. Coming up next on wow. New Day, you texting the Pope and said. drive. Huh? It was sh wow. they said shockwave. The Pope said cunt. <laughs> no. The Pope said cunt. You were sitting next to Otto Peterson yeah. on a plane. <laughs> he said gay. He was the first Pope to say gay. He oh, said yeah. he's tired. He's like the people. He said the church has become obsessed. Yes, obsessed. With with homosexuality and abortion and he said uh we put dogma above caring for people and above caring for the poor and the uh, uh what was the other word he used the uh the marginalized what he said i read that on the way in. I, I fucking couldn't i'm like i love this pope he's amazing the last not, guy was a cunt yeah i'm sorry last guy was a fucking doctrine an obsessed asshole. twat who wanted a smaller purer church this pope wants a larger more inclusive church right what he's, what donnie is saying though is i i can see what he's saying absolutely yeah not to obsess on those issues but it doesn't mean that there's this new openness in church that is accepting homosexuals and abortion but i abortion i agree with you on like i think that's a rough one to get the church to ob ob upset although the stem mm -hmm. cells they should shut the fuck up about but with the homosexuality this pope is not like the he doesn't want to live with the last one lived he has to be close mm -hmm. to the people i don't think he gives a shit about homosexuality i really yeah. don't Mm -hmm. Cause he said something about who am I to judge? Yeah, about that's gay priests. Like, that was a big fucking thing for a pope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pope. First time they, yeah. they he, he first time a pope just said the word gay. Oh really? That's gay. what it said in the paper oh, today. Wow. No pope would even say the word. What about the old days when it meant happy? Well, that's a we're good gonna point. have a very gay that's time. Very good at the point. Vatican tonight. Very good point. Very gay time at. Uh, Getting blunt, at, Pope uh, Francis oh. says, "Don't be small." Yeah, he wants his fellow priests and shit to, to get out there among the people. It was really a, a earth shattering what he said. And where is he living? Guys. I forget. Is he where. in the Vatican, but in a smaller part of it so. or something? Yeah, he's closer. To the, they said it in the article I read what, where he lived. It was he wants to be. He carries his own luggage. He's really fucking. He's the real deal. This guy. He's not some pious jizz bag. That fucking last one was. They got him out. He was. He was losing members fucking fast. You think he was pushed out? Without it, either oh, yeah. he had Parkinson's yeah. or he had, no, uh, no. Oh, not Parkinson's, I'm sorry, uh, Alzheimer's. You it think? was one of those things. No, they pushed him out because you're supposed to die in the position. How bad of a pope do you have to be that they push you the fuck out? The pedophilia no, scandal was tied to him. Yeah, it was yeah. tied to him. He was a fucking, he was a Nazi-looking twat that I fucking <laughs> hated that fucking guy. And, yeah, and John Paul, really fuck him, him too. The exact quote from the Pope, if someone is gay and he searches for the Lord and has good will, who am I to judge? Well, if he searches for the Lord, so he still doesn't like. He'll judge a gay guy that isn't searching for the Lord, that's searching for some ass. <laughs> then, yeah. then he'll fucking get on that shit. I don't know. I just don't see the Catholic Church as being very accepting toward uh, gays. This Pope is, I'm telling you, is yeah. really fucking... I think he might be able to wheel a fucking little gayness in there. No, but he's... What did he say? He said, uh... He said he, said he sent shockwaves through the uh, Roman Catholic Church on Thursday. Uh, that he said the church had grown obsessed with abortion, gay marriage, and contraception, and he had chosen not to talk about these issues despite recriminations from his critics. Ah, uh, it was it was surprising. He said that he, he he criticized the church for putting dogma before love, and for prioritizing moral doctrines over serving the poor and marginalized. Hmm. He articulated his vision of an inclusive church, a home for all. Which is a striking, con <laughs> <laughs> a striking contrast with Pope Benedict, the doctrinal, the doctrinal defender, who uh, <laughs> 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 the doctrinal defender who envisioned a smaller pure church. Mm. So uh, this guy wow. said, it's, uh, uh, Pope uh, uh, Francis said, it's not necessary to talk about these issues all the time. The dogmatic and moral teachings of the church are not all equivalent. The church's pastoral ministry cannot be obsessed with the transmission of a disjointed multitude of doctrines to be imposed insistently. Wow. It's such a uh, weird massive. position the church has uh, 
with um, the changing times and with, with modern society. Like years ago, obviously, people had to adhere to every little rule. There was, you know, the old Inquisition. Um, but in this day and age of inclusion and tolerance and everything, it's so hard to steadfastly stick to these uh, issues of years ago and still have a, a large amount of members. In it. And that's what you need. You need a lot of fucking people. And you're alienating some by, you know, mm -hmm. going against the gay. He, and he said, this lastly, we have to find a new balance. Otherwise, even the moral edifice of the church is likely to fall like a house of cards, oh. losing the freshness and fragrance of the gospel. And uh, they said his interview did not change doctrine, but it, it instantly changed the church's tone. Wow. Instantly. Yeah. 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 So yeah. That's the very powerful thing he said. Yeah. And the conservative, the real conservative Catholics will hate it. Oh, sure. Like Donahue probably doesn't like it, but... they. Uh, well, crazy. that's what he's saying. He was on there saying, like, look, I heard what he said, but I'm interpreting it as... He knows what he said. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He knows what he said. Well, of course he does. Bill's just a... He's a very smart guy, and he's a deceptively bright debater because... He's a he, very good debater. He's yeah. a regular guy, and, he, and, and you can get him on a point, and he's okay with it. Yeah, he'll laugh it off yeah. like, yeah, okay, but what? And then he'll ra and he makes some, something else. And he also makes some fucking valid kind mm -hmm. of blunt points that aren't pol overly polite or, you know... Yeah. He's smart. It's hard when you're arguing with somebody that doesn't feel like they're um, walking on eggshells when, when you're talking. Because they always try to back up guys. And, and this guy was doing it, too. I was bit, interviewing yeah. Donahue. You try to back a guy into a corner with sounding like a homophobe or, a or bit, racist yeah. or something. And you back him in. And the second you do that and the person starts going, but, but I, 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 it puts him on the defensive. If you just turn around and say, like, hey, if I say Chinese people live in Chinatown. But, like that takes such a huge piece of their ammunition away yeah uh, i love and that's what that's why i love being able to talk openly uh on this show especially about things like race and sexuality and stuff because it takes away any ammunition someone has to try to pigeonhole you and call you a racist uh, fine i've been called that for years who gives a shit at this point sometimes i want like i think like we're really lucky like even though there's yeah. irritations here but we really we can just sit and just fucking almost say whatever the right. fuck we want we'll just, discuss things you know not not inciting not hate speech or anything but literally have just an open discussion discussing with, it, with right. real language that real people use and not be persecuted for it it's a miracle that this fucking exists and a lot of the irritations are now gone so yeah yeah well yeah exactly you know, i hear what you're saying right there which segs into a fine song oh what oh, God. what <laughs> One last. Who made this? One last jab. <laughs> one last poke, huh? Who made this? Uh, Jefferson K. It's the uh, same person. He, we played one of his songs the other oh, day. Oh yeah, the. Um, Who, who's he on Twitter? Of course. I don't know. These guys need their Twitter plugs. Jefferson Knight on Twitter. Jefferson Knight on Twitter. Uh, came up with a uh, goodbye song for um, for the Radio Wizard. Oh. Who I no. would would bet officially doesn't listen to us anymore oh. this is the artist who performed uh fat fuck and he knows it that we played yesterday oh really yeah fat fuck and he knows it is that jake no i thought it was jake jillen I... yeah. what are they doing no on uh fox? doing like this stupid obstacle course on fox no no what are they doing uh, they're running through an obstacle course right downstairs on the sidewalk right why is the chick winning <laughs> Oh, well, she can't do the yeah, tire. Yeah, she fell on the tire. Get in front that. of it! Don't wait behind Fucking it! Fucking bitch. <laughs> Why do does Fox feel they have to do these yeah, fucking uh, stunts every every morning? They're a morning zoo now. This is morning zoo shit. That's the, oh, I did that in the Marine Corps. The oh, that rope went right up our cunt. <laughs> Kevin's trying to be way too polite. It's waiting behind. Well, they are muddy, they are wet, and they're about to get wetter. And we go to the bottom. Oh, yeah, bottom. And they slide down, the down into the water. Oh, they fucking... Oh, this was acid. And goes. <laughs> they didn't tell her. Oh. <laughs> that was excellent. Now, what did that do? There's 20 people out there. I had a... Mud in my teeth. All right. Oh, and here your, we go. Here's mud in your teeth. <laughs> I threw my arm out as it, Kevin. I threw my arm out in the first. You got the deucey injury? I got the deucey injury. Oh, my God. This is news. Hi. How you doing? Wow, we're... How you doing? 
having real conversations here, and they're getting wacky on Fox. By the way, a dozen Fox people and were shot in Chicago last night. Just, just an aside. Just an aside. A dozen people were shot in uh, Chicago last night. But um, murders down in Chicago this year. By the way. It's still the murder capital. Over 300. Of the US. Three, what are they up to? 381, I think, for the year. Yeah. Murder cap of the U.S. Did you see the girl beat the boy, though, at the physical fitness challenge? Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. that. As long as you saw that. By the way, if it was, you know, the lone white gunman thing and he was shooting people, it would be the lead story. They would put off the obstacle course and stuff. But because it's Chicago and it's just black people killing other black people, a three year old, by the way, was uh, shot last night also Jesus. in critical condition. Um, why a three-year-old is out at 10 p.m. at a basketball fucking, uh, at a park basketball game is beyond me, but whatever. Would you would you even shot. go to a basketball court in, in Chicago? No. What is, <laughs> like, no. When I, no. Oh, no, thanks, Jimmy. I love basketball. I, I was brought up with basketball. And yeah. Even in New York City, I don't like walking by basketball courts. So you always you just know. Oh, yeah. Some shit's gone down there. You know some shit's going on. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this <laughs> shit is, but something's oh, going on. Something's going a little on. A little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I used to go with the comics a few years ago with, with uh, Patrice and Keith and uh, actually Kevin Hart and... Right. Uh, a couple other guys would go and Sherrod, and yeah. they would play in these courts. And I remember one time uh, we were there. I was dating a girl named Ruth at the time, a British girl. Oh. And uh, this this uh, group of guys from the it was like the projects where it came out. And I was like, oh, it's going to be a problem. But it wasn't. They just wanted oh. to play in, and it was okay. Oh, you thought it was going to be a yeah? Because I was just sitting there like with Ruth. Like we're like two white girlfriends of the players, oh, God. <laughs> just sitting yeah. there watching. And was, <laughs> white girlfriends did nothing. Uh, didn't get out there. No. 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 Twelve so shot left. Bob Kelly played too. I think. Yeah. Well, I what was he the? Oh my God. Well, Bob was slim then, and, and fucking and Bobby. In, in good shape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had that fucking little Hispanic look to him. Right. I didn't realize how awful Bob's old Egyptian hairdo was until I fucking see it now. <laughs> Egyptian. I'm like, oh my God, yeah. he's like a fucking coin. How's Bobby doing? <laughs> Bobby good? Yeah. I haven't seen him in a while, yeah. It's been a while. we got to get him on the show. Daddy Bobby, I see him in his Vine videos. His kid's amazingly cute. Yeah. Yeah. Amazingly yeah. cute. In his Vine. He's moving out to Westchester. I hear. Is he? Fuck yes. What's he doing there? Well, you have a kid, and then you kid. move out of the city. That's He's what happens. Get out of the apartment. Okay. You I got hear it. You. What I about me, it. though? They're not, they're not thinking of me. I know. Where am I supposed to What's go Jimmy on fucking Thanksgiving? Where Aww. am I? My friends are leaving. Where am I going to go? You got to take a little ride. Jimmy. I don't want to Westchester. take a ride. It's traffic. You're the people that make selfish the traffic Selfish Bob up. and his selfish, selfish wife <laughs> not thinking of me <laughs> and how I like to get up late and go see my friends. Imagine being serious and being like, what about me? Ugh. Yee. Yeah, I'm bummed that they're leaving, but I'm happy for oh, them. Some of video the bus driver texting while she's driving the bus. Oh uh, my God, that bitch is in trouble. So fired. To point A to point B in a safe condition. That's not safe. Whoa. In a what all. condition? And then if they <laughs> not only are they going to kill <laughs> the driver, <laughs> they're going to kill those children on that bus. Currently, that bus. 41 wow. states ban texting for all drivers. What's yeah. Only three states specifically ban school bus drivers from texting. Check out this video of another Florida bus driver texting oh on his cell. Oh my cell. God. Minutes later, he was involved in a fender bender. He was suspended without pay for weeks. And watch as this Florida driver fumbles with her phone using both hands, constantly glancing down at one time for nearly 10 seconds. Oh, oh my God. Suspended for one day. Suspended for one day. Suspended for one day. Issued this statement to CNN, saying in part, Jesus. it is against school district policy uh, for a bus driver to text while oh, driving. Oh. From the video, it appears attention. the driver is certainly looking oh, at her well, cell phone. Looking at the phone. That's a dangerous distraction yeah. for any driver but the potential danger is greater when you have a bus full of children well, if a bus driver is doing something that is against yeah. our policies then we're gonna we're gonna do something about that oh are you yeah one are day, you? One day indeed. And as for the school bus Scary driver indeed. You should know she is not currently driving the bus the district investigating <laughs> determining what action to take the, second. The, 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 the important thing there is I wonder if the, the looks like they're gonna interview a bus next oh, oh, to get deeper into that no oh they're going to interview the, the boss itself. A 14-year-old is using her cell phone. <laughs> 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 oh.
Oh, boy. I was trying to capture that, and then look what she caught instead. It's so oftentimes it proves the point that our oh, kids are paying attention and that they are listening to these messages about rats. not doing it themselves, okay. right? Especially these new drivers. But it's so interesting that the tables turn, and she pointed out to the adult that they were misbehaving. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, you know, we see every time I see—I don't know about you guys—anytime I see someone texting on the road, I'm like that crazy lady. No, I know. But uh, and you're going to cause an accident driver? doing I mean, that. You have exactly. the responsibility I do it all the time when someone's the weaving on the road, and they're always texting. Are dealing with and trying to get all of yeah. us to yeah. stop texting while we're driving. The school is dealing yeah, with. The school doesn't obviously baskets. want this no, any bus driver to be texting. But what more can you do? Yes, they're weaving. Other than take away their phones while they're on the job. I noticed you were weaving. And then there he is making a basket. Skit. Yeah. Be a good little right. skit. Cell phones, obviously, <laughs> that's yeah. the policy. Now they have to look and see what action right. they take care of. It gets a little tricky, right? Because sometimes, as the bus driver, you are allowed to use the cell phone, but the texting would be something different. Yeah, obviously. How is that tricky? Yeah. That is. <laughs> I think the big decider here is this that, guy's yeah, an behind. idiot. Yeah. Um, I know that that was a very silly. Cuomo son. As, uh, a that's Cuomo oh, son. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Oh. The fucking lump of shit doesn't fall and far from the asshole. Was pointed out to me <laughs> with a uh, certain intensity. Cool. I took the message. Yes, oh, his grandfather it's, was the Mario. A Mario. That's Mario. Grandkid. Yes. I think that man. Yeah. Well, how did it go? Yeah. I forgot. Something. Was, something. Something. Spachi. Exactly. Are they still talking about texting? Okay. Thank you. All right. Yes, they are. On New Day, a bizarre encounter between a priest and a photographer providing the bride and groom at their wedding with some very um they just edible. play viral videos now apparently and we just and we just play the and, news and, of and them we, we watch viral videos. we watch <laughs> it, it really the news has just turned into fucking youtube it's uh texting it's astounding is, texting is fucking out of control though yeah. on the roads yeah 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 you could see it is I, I would i think you said it first on this show and i absolutely absolutely oh. agree with you i'd rather see a drunk driver i am not That's, hammered drunk driving down the road. No, side but of, if you had to make a choice, yeah, I would yeah. rather be on the road with a drunk driver. I'd rather if that, it, that texting is out of control on the roads. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, and it's so obvious too now. So obvious. It's broad daylight. You got somebody either going from forty miles an hour to sixty in the left lane. Right. They, they can't keep their speed constant. They're fucking. You go, you go to pass them, and they're drifting over yeah. into your oh, lane, yeah. and then they cut back. Well, they do that quick move back into yeah, their yeah. lane, because that's them looking back up right. on their phone. And then you look over, and there they are. One hand fucking the phone, they're looking down. I was, it pisses me off. I was completely guilty when I had my BlackBerry, because I could feel the keys. Oh. As soon as I got my Samsung, Galaxy S3, soon to be S4, um, I, I stopped. Yeah. Because I can't feel the buttons, obviously, anymore. So that was what made me stop. That's the only reason I stopped. Voice, the voice, the voice helps a little bit, but you got to still read it. Right. But yeah, uh, it's just Sam heard me one time. I, we were coming back, and I was talking dirty into my phone. <laughs> yeah, he's sexting with a girl. <laughs> he had to listen to you sexting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was like, why do you have to do that now? You're driving. Oh well. And what I, did he say? Do you so remember? It's my sex addiction. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> I what he to. said. I remember us talking about how furious my mom would be. If he got into an accident and killed me on our oh, drive home, my he God. was sexting. Yeah. He was sexting right in front of you. Wouldn't be funny at yeah. all. Oh my I'm going to suck on your clit. And I had to go back in reverse and take the P and put a T because yeah. the dumb fucking Siri doesn't know what a clit is. <laughs> <laughs>